What's going on everybody? Lee Dickey here. Welcome back to Lee Dickey Beats and Speaks. Today, got some more stories for you. I mean, we've all been on dates, we've all been in relationships, and we've all had some really, really bad ones. This video right here will detail my worst first date ever. Yes, my worst first date ever. And that one, it ranks right up there. Well, clearly, it's my worst first date ever. And here we go. So, how this whole thing started out, basically, there was this guy I knew in high school. You know, we were friends. And I'd been single for a while. I still am. You know, not much has changed. But I'd been single for a while up to this point. And he's like, look, man, you got to get back out there. You got to go on another date. You can't just keep staying at home. And I was just like, ah, man, you know what? I'm not worried about it. I was young at the time. I might have been like 21, 22. And whatever. I didn't really think much of it. He's like, I got this great girl. She'll be good for you. She's real sweet. We'll set it up. Blind date. Don't worry. I'll take care of the whole deal. All right. So I reluctantly, I was like, yeah, okay, sure. So I agreed. I, you know, reluctantly agreed to go because I'm, wasn't that big on dating because let's face it I don't need to be in a relationship with somebody to feel validated and it's just like okay I'll go just to have a good time you know get out of the house and have a bite to eat with some friends and you know just see where this goes so I go to this restaurant it's this fancy French place that I could never afford to go in but somehow we managed to get in there. I don't know how my buddy managed to finagle his way in. Quite frankly, I'm not going into his finances. That's not my deal. But we go to this fancy French place where I'm just like, I am so out of my element. I mean, I look presentable, right? Like, I'm not going to wear a suit. I've never, I've never liked wearing a suit, tie, you know, dress shirt, that sort of thing. I'm very relaxed. I want to be comfortable, right? But for a date, I'll look presentable, you know? So good shirt, some slacks, good shoes, show up, introduce yourself, be nice, be the gentleman that I am. And it's true, ladies, I am a pure gentleman. The last of the pure gentlemen that there is, trust me. So I go to this place, I see my friend, I see his girlfriend and this girl that he wanted me to meet, he wanted to hook me up with. So I introduced myself, hi, I'm Lee, and blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm so-and-so, it's good to meet you, whatever. The next thing out of this girl's mouth, and I couldn't believe it, was, oh, you're one of those. And let me just set this up. I'm disabled, I have cerebral palsy, and I use a walker to get around. I need it to stand and basically walk because I have trouble, clearly, and I'm disabled. But I show up, I have my walker and everything, I see my buddy and his girlfriend and this girl that he wanted me to meet and basically wanted to hook me up with. I introduce myself, hi, I'm Lee, and she just, oh, hi, I'm so-and-so, and ah, -so uh, you're one of those. I I'm one of what? And at that point, like, the, the flag started going up where I'm like, wait, wait a minute, where are we going with this, right? So, she says, oh, you're crippled. And I, like at that point, the eyebrows went up, my temperature went up, cause I got really hot. I was super ticked off. So I was just like, oh, okay, I, I see where we're going. And my buddy, he saw that, came over to me, he was like, look, just calm down, I promise it'll get, cause I turned around to leave. And my buddy came over to me and he said, look, calm down, don't worry, trust me, it'll get better, I promise. That was just a gaffe, it's just a slip of the tongue, it'll be fine. At that point, the gears are spinning in the back of my head, thinking, okay, she wants to play that game, how can I get her back? So I said, okay. I said to my buddy, look, take the girls to the table, I'll be over in a sec. I flag down our waitress, and I say, look, that girl that I'm sitting with over there, Real nice girl. Keep my I the only thing I know about the girl that my buddy wanted to hook me up with is her name and what she looks like. Yeah, she's a good looking girl, 
but with an attitude like that, I don't need it, I don't want it, keep it away from me. So, I flag our waitress down, and I say, that girl I'm, I'm with, the girl sitting over there, real nice, real solid, real salt of the earth type girl, right? She's super generous, so generous in fact, that she wants to buy a round of food and drinks for everyone in here. I was happy that our waitress bought the story that I told her. She was like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, super solid, super salt of the earth. She's such a great person and you know, she's super generous. So she wants to buy a round of food and drinks for everybody in here. And our waitress bought that story and I was happy. So I go and sit through the dinner while my buddy and his girlfriend are sitting next to us like this girl that I'm sitting across from is just telling me all about oh my daddy is this he's got this much money this is you know this is what he bought me blah 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 and I'm just uh-huh yeah no problem okay oh that's great yeah you're a real great person I can't wait till that bill comes because that's the one thing going through my mind I can't wait until she sees that bill so end of the night comes and this is the point of the night where I just basically dip I take off so I I'm polite to everybody just oh hey guys you know it's good to meet you maybe we'll catch up again and I say goodbye to my buddy and his girlfriend our waitress brings our bill over like between me and the girl I was with and she's oh you're not gonna stay I'm like no nah, you got this right thanks for dinner it's been nice been a real pleasure I'm sure it's on you so the look on her face is just oh, yeah I got you thanks for being my worst first date ever don't ever play me again I never did see that girl again I actually never did talk to that buddy of mine that uh, wanted to hook me up with this girl or the girl that he was dating because I think they broke up shortly thereafter anyhow but man that that was one hell of a night so I was just like no dinner's on you you got this right and I took off I was like no nah, man you got this because I mean I took a glance at that bill and it was at least like three figures and it was easily more than we had eaten so clearly she had spent a good bulk of change a good chunk of the money that she had with her I'm sure daddy's credit card went a long way but that is my worst first date ever have you guys ever had any bad first dates? What are those stories? Post them in the comments below. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on social media and check out my website. All those links are in the description below. But that was the story of my worst first date ever. I have been Lee Dickey. This has been another vlog on Lee Dickey Beats and Speaks. Thanks again for watching. We will see you all again soon. All right, till next time, I'm out of here. We'll talk later. Peace.